Creating small details using SubD can be tricky and frustrating. In this video, I will show you how to do it with ease. Let's go. One of the most difficult things in SubD is adding details, especially to curved surfaces. So when you want to add the detail of a specific sharpness, you may find that it's quite difficult and you're going to end up with a lot of artifacts and errors. And I'm going to show you on this example what you need to pay attention to to be able to do that. Now, this is a bit advanced, so if you're a beginner, there is a fantastic course we have for you. It's free and it's called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. The link is in the video description and this course will teach you all the basics, all the foundations of Blender Hard Surface Modeling. So go ahead and get it. Over 80,000 people enrolled into that course and they absolutely love it. Like I said, the course is free and the link is in the video description. Now going back to sub D, you can see here two identical models and the only difference between them, if you look closely, is the level of softness of details and also some artifacts. And if I wanna select them both and go to edit mode, you can see that the difference between them is simply density of geometry. So there is your hint. So let's, let's just look closely here at these two objects, okay? So um, this one here, the cutouts are really clean and you know the, there's not done no distortions even the corners have minimal pinching uh, here however we have some serious problems uh, although this one isn't actually creating any major artifact except for the you know kind of a dip in here um, the shape of it is very different because it's actually you know um, sort of a very soft and this one has nice sharp corners and here, if you're gonna to go to the bottom, the pinching on the corner is much more visible. It's really strong, creates like a nasty shadow. But in this case, it's actually almost, uh, you know, almost invisible, okay? So this one is passable, this one is problematic. So now let's see what's the difference between these two, right? The difference again is just, the, you know, density of geometry. So this one is twice as dense. So now when you're creating a sub D model and you want to proceed to a detailing stage, let me show you how you should you know, be going about it, okay? So I'm gonna just grab a clean model uh, like this, which is uh, which has a basic sub D. So this is a model after me finishing all these details here and connecting all the dots, you know, in order to create perfect quad topology. And I'm now ready to, you know, go control two and subdivide it and shade smooth. Now, of course, we want to, you know, make sure that the corners are sharp. So what you can do is go here and sharpen and then remove sharpen from areas where you don't want it to be sharpened. So let's say, you know, let's just nuke that and I'll take to the other side. And then we're going to select one edge, go to select and we're going to go to similar and sharpness. And then we're going to simply bevel this and you want to press P to change the profile of the bevel, press A to make it a bit more uh, wide and, you know, and you're good to go. So now let's see what happened, right? We have, uh, like I said, we have a bit of a pinching here in the corner and this is caused by, let me just turn off the subdivision in edit mode. This is caused by the fact now I have an end gone, but even if I connect this in here, let me just remove all the sharps. We're still going to have a bit of a pinching here because simply these quads are massive and uh, Blender struggles with, you know, running a clean surface here on, a, on I mean, clean shading on a curved surface. Another problem we're going to have here, we want to, you know, grab, um, grab these and actually create some kind of an opening here. So let's just uh, delete these faces, grab these two edges and bridge them. And I'm going to run some, I'm going to run some loops in here. And you'll see that the problem is that, you know, although the shading is more or less clean, the corners are quite soft and I cannot really sharpen them up because if I try to sharpen them up like this, right, I'm going to basically uh, ruin the curvature of the surface. So I cannot run loops over there. And the same thing, by the way, is with this detail here in the front. You see this one is much sharper and this one is much more stretched. And again, I cannot do anything about it because of any loops I'm going to add in here going to ruin the curvature here on on this uh, on this bit yeah so what we're going to do here is we're going to sharpen everything and we're going to remove sharpen from this again here and secure all the all the um, sharp edges it's really important okay if you don't do this you're going to end up with a blob all right and i'll show you in a minute then you're going to add one level of subdivision which is going to subdivide it and you know the sharp is going to hold the subdivision and we're going to apply subdivision here. It's going to be a bit more dense. Now we can start playing with bevels. So on top of this, I'm just going to remove 
this uh, loop here because we don't really need it. It's a bit too dense over there. So when you see like unnecessary loops, you know, simply remove them. Select the edge here and we're going to go to similar and sharpness. We're going to run uh, Ctrl B. Of course, we're going to press P to adjust, you know, the, the profile. Press A to change the width of the bevel and you're good to go. And then when you connect these two here, you should be good to go. And it's going to be a little bit cleaner here on this corner. Of course, we need to remove all the sharps. So remove all the sharps and, you know, uh, we're looking pretty decent. And then when you want to create, you know, some kind of uh, details in here, you have a little bit more of a control because geometry is much smaller and will allow you to create sharper, you know, sharper details like this, right? So if I'm going to run a loop here in the middle, see that detail is going to be, uh, that detail is going to be much sharper than this one. So that's how you add details to your sub D models. Um, sometimes, you know, you need to play a little bit with situations like this. And if this is still causing you problems, you could, you know, and you, you really need to have this uh, corner being very clean. You can go one step deeper. So you could just go back and, you know, subdivide it one more time. So subdivision two and then apply this and then you have a really dense geo. So when you're going to run an edge here now, so let's go to select and loops and select similar and sharpness and control B that, right? Let me just go a bit deeper here. There you go. And we could actually turn off the loop slide here to make it even better and connect it in here. I could drop this, uh, this loop here a little bit lower. So I'm going to have a bit of an even more even quads in here okay you could do that and i think this is gonna help as well Control 2 and select everything and remove the sharp and you know this is really clean right so you know you need to determine and decide how clean you want your uh, transitions to be and the denser you go the smaller the topology the easier uh, for blender it's gonna be to handle the curvature but again your mesh is gonna become really really dense so you know be careful but again now since the mesh is super dense, if I'm going to try to recreate this detail here, you'll see how sharp it's going to be because now we have really a lot of geometry. OK, so when you're creating super tiny details, you know, you have to go denser with topology. There's really no other way to do this unless you are able to create some, you know, really crazy uh, loops going around. But like I said, in this case, we cannot add any loops here in the middle because we're going to ruin the curvature of the circle. And you see now, this detail is much sharper than this detail. So again, it depends how sharp of details and how clean of transitions of corners you want. And you need to basically decide, you know, how deep you want to go in terms of topology. Yeah? So there you go, guys. There's a secret of adding details to your models in order to maintain clean shading and, you know, really nice sharp details. Now, let me just add two more things here. Um, so when you are working on curved surfaces, this is how you do it. But if you, for example, working on flat surfaces, you have a little bit more of a leeway because what you could do technically, you could basically um, subdivide certain areas locally. So, you know, you could just grab an area here and let's say subdivide it once and subdivide it one more time to create the smaller details that you need. Right. And then you're going to have a smaller detail, you know, here again, you will be struggling with sharpening this. But, you know, that's not a story. If this would be a flat surface, you could run more loops around and, you know, get around, go around it. Right. Another way of actually fixing shading would be using a shrink wrap modifier and shrink wrapping it to a base mesh. So you have a base mesh that doesn't have any cutouts and you simply create these cutouts on a, a less dense mesh. So something like this, and you shrink wrap this mesh to a base mesh, but that's outside this tutorial. And, um, you know, if you want, let me know, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really easy and quite a powerful technique, especially for, you know, stuff like cars um, or paneling where you don't want to go too dense on topology, but you need to create cutouts and really difficult transitions uh, in shapes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.